Hey guys, how you doing? Just thought I'd pop back and do another quick video of the uh, the Amazon Fire HD8. Now, I did an unboxing and first impressions, so in this video I thought we'd just take it a little bit further. Now, um, as you're aware, when you first boot it up, you get the standard Amazon operating system, which is the Fire OS. Now, what you can do, which is what I've done, is you can pop basically the Google Google Now Launch on there. And basically also what you'll notice is we now have the Google Play Store. So um, just to have a quick run through how it works, you go to this website, which I'll put the link in the uh, description. You basically follow the instructions. Uh, you can do it step by step. I did it exactly how this word did it and everything came out absolutely fine. Then that will basically put the Google services and the Play Store and the services framework and account manager on there. So then you can sign into all your Google services. Then you go to the second link and that allows you to put the Google Now launcher on there. So as it says, make it a bit more googly. So once you've done that guys, uh, you're then able to put the proper full version of YouTube on there. And pretty much everything that's in the Google Play Store you can put on there so it makes it a bit more user friendly. Um, now I'll just have a quick read through the benchmarks, well the actual specs I should say of the tablet just to give you some idea. So this actual tablet was released in May 2017. Uh, it's an 8 inch IPS capacitive touchscreen. It's 800 by 1280, which is an 80, uh, 189 for the PPI Patrol. And it's working on the Fire UI 5.4, which is a customised Android 5.1, which is Lollipop. So it's a little bit dated, but it does seem to run most things fine. Uh, you've got a quad-core 1.3 gigahertz Cortex-A53, and the GPU is a Mali T730 MP3. You've got micro SD support up to 256, and it comes in either 16 or 32 gig internal memory. I've got the 16, and one and a half gig of RAM. The camera is two megapixel, and the video is 720p. The secondary camera, which is the front camera, is VGA. Uh, so it's got stereo speakers, and it says here a 3.5mm jack with Dolby Atmos sound. Make of that what you will. Um, so let's just run into a few benchmark results. We've got Geekbench. So we got a single core score of 621 and a multi score, a multi core score of 1650. So, and also on the bottom there, just confirmation that we're running Android 5.1.1. Uh, okay. So on to Antutu. And we get a score of 34,421. So it's not fantastic, but it's good enough to play pretty much most common games. Um, we'll just put Angry Birds Go on, because I quite like that. For some reason the music's disappeared. <laughs> So 
See, I'm, I'm wasted going to work every day, as you can tell. <laughs> just stop at home and play games. But just from this basic demonstration, guys, you can see this playing it very well. Nice and smooth. You know, for the money, what this costs, which is, you know, I've got, got it for £50. It's running perfectly well. Look at that. Knock me back wheel off. Fantastic. So, back to the home screen. Back to that googly look. Uh, just to show you. The Play Store. We have got the full Play Store. Which the Amazon Store is is not as as good as this you're sort of restricted on what you can download on here you can get basically everything that you would do normally on an android tablet uh look at the apps so we can get the google app on there google home google settings so it basically just opens it all up to how it should be. Okay guys, so that was just another quick look. I say I've made it look more like a Google, proper Google tablet. Which I think is fantastic. Just taking the bit of the, the restrictive Amazon software off. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments guys. And uh, I'll catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.